My goal is an Iraq that no longer needs American troops. And I believe we can achieve that goal perhaps sooner than many imagine. But I also believe that to promise a withdrawal of our forces, regardless of the consequences, would constitute a failure of political and moral leadership. That it is uh, irresponsible or demonstrates a lack of leadership to advocate uh, withdrawing troops from Iraq in a responsible and carefully planned withdrawal, I fundamentally disagree. Uh, rather, I think uh, it could be fair to say that uh, it might uh, well be irresponsible to continue the policy uh, that has not produced the results that have been promised time and time again at such tremendous cost to our national security and to the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States military. Our troops are the best in the world and they have performed admirably and heroically in Iraq. Increased pressure in a measured way. I think that increased pressure in a measured way in my mind, and this is where we disagree, includes a timetable for withdrawal. Nobody's asking for a precipitous withdrawal, but I do think that it has to be a measured but increased pressure. And a diplomatic surge that includes Iran. Because if Maliki can tolerate as normal neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor relations in Iran, then we should be talking to them as well. I do not believe we're going to be able to stabilize the situation without them.